We're going to keep, let's go, we're in the same chapter right now. We're on Ripper 1. We're going to keep moving through the same chapter. Uh, you break down stilts and rides. We're going to look into the cradles. This is the first time we hit on the cradles. And we're going to look at how we actually fold the person into the cradle and how do we achieve it. So the first one is just uh, your, your opponent's bellied out. Hey, Danny, if you don't mind, can you get loose? You just your head that way on your belly. Opponent's bellied out. And we're going to learn what, what do we bring to what? i got to get to a position where I can bring the head down to the legs. The legs are too strong. We want to use our body to turn it. When you get comfortable with the cradles, they really become fun because you'll start finding different places to use them. When guys are trying to re-guard you and things like that, you're going to find yourself where you can apply those cradles a lot more. Not necessarily for submissions all the time, but for complete control. People start getting frustrated, people make mistakes, you're forcing reactions. We don't focus on mistakes a whole lot. We really don't. We focus on, focus on forcing entanglements and causing reactions. Forcing those reactions, making them, not make a mistake, but you know where they're going. If I move a certain way and I know that's the right reaction, and I memorize that, I'm gonna be at least one or two moves ahead at all times, right? So memorize the right reaction, the way that the champion would respond, not the way the white belt would go. I'm not worried about him. I want to be trained at the highest possible standard. Okay? So here I am. <coughs> I'm going to hook here first. I'm going to hook under the knee. And that's all I'm going to start with right now. That's it. Right down. Is that knee okay? Yeah. There's a lot of mummification going on. Uh, it's mummification. <laughs> 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 you out of a pyramid this morning. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> now, a cross face is not a ruthless one. I'm going to come across and get to the tricep. Now, I'm not going to be able to bring that leg up. So I'm going to plant my head. I'm going to get off my knees, and I'm going to walk towards Danny's head because I'm going to bring his torso to that leg. Just push on my arm with that leg. I, the, Matt's helping me a lot, but keep the heat that pressure. I cannot walk and move that leg. It's just not going to work. There's no leverage. But I can take the torso and bend it down to get my grip by walking my body. So I keep this, and I walk down to my ass straight, okay? Yeah. So I walk the torso down. Now I'm going to sit out and pull him towards me not up on me, because you won't get the pin. Pull him next to you, figure four, the far side leg, and then move your torso away, and that's your pin. So that introduces you to the cradle. Okay. A lot of stuff we do with this with youngsters, and they take this, these old catch wrestling techniques, which is really your freestyle and folk style, the old fashioned, and they dominate, and, and no submission matches. Because they're learning the technique way, not the athlete way. Not everybody's a great athlete. Technique is always going to get you there if we drill it right. right? So, Lock it here at the knee. That's all I need right there. And you can even bicycle down for that. Pressure in, come under. That's all I need. Come back, hook all the way across here. Anytime I grab this arm at all, the far side arm, I need to be cross facing anyways. Even if he's bellied out. So I grab and I walk the head down to my S grip. Throw the knee under, pull right next to me. I'm going to figure four and control. You guys got it? Not too complicated, right? The biggest thing is just learning how to move the torso down. Make sure you're off your knees. Use, it's not even strength, it's just, it's just perfect leverage. Moving that way, the torso will bend right down to your S-grip. Okay? Let's go. One, two, three.